everyone it's lisa from dana august nails welcome back to the channel it's me i'm back and i'm doing my nails um i've already prepped and everything so i'm going in with a bit of barano's base coat um you guys i have missed y'all and i just want to say thank you for all the subscribers that stuck around what the heck is wrong with y'all you had so many other options many opportunities other people to go see and you still said i'm gonna stay with her okay sure to the new subscribers what the other ones didn't warn you about me you should not be here <laughs> you should not be here um anyway i cured the base coat for 60 seconds i'm showing me showing you my already prepped tips that is ibd gel clear my finger queen brush from amazon actually no from aliexpress and obviously my little uv lamp from aliexpress also so i'm taking my little finger queen brush the smallest brush I, that's a lie that's not the smallest brush i ever did see it's it's one of the smallest because i've got very small fingers didn't you notice so i'm just applying a very thin coat of that builder gel um, in the clear and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the underside of my full cover tips and I've already gone and prepped these to the gods and back okay I've gone in there with a sanding band and I've really etched under the surface and done all the things so what I'm gonna do is go cuticle down and I'm just gonna do it slowly because I want the gel that's on my nail and under that tip to connect I don't want any air bubbles and I want a decent amount of gel under there to give me a nice strong apex and I just give it a flash cure okay don't cure your entire nail with this UV lamp that is not meant for that I did that I did that don't do that don't do that do what I say not what I do um, I give them a full cure for 60 seconds in a big old lamp, I promise. So I'm just gonna show y'all the process again, just for the people that are, that y'all just showed up, you didn't read the warning signs and you still subscribed, what the heck? But I'm going in with that thin coat again. Um, and I try not to touch the side walls and not to touch the cuticle or my skin with this stuff, okay? You go and get yourself a lovely little allergy if you're not careful. Um, I apply, if you can look, if you see, I leave a bulk of that product in the little center there because I want the apex to kind of form. You see me just, yep, floating it in the center there, but I make sure it touches the side walls and everything and it fully coats that nail. And like I say, I'm going to do it from cuticle down and you can see I'm getting rid of all those air bubbles. And I like to do it from this perspective, like looking at my hand in this direction so I can make sure that I apply these tips as straight as possible. Because this is, I mean, you can file them back to shape if you did them a little crooked, because I've done that before, but let me just tell you, we're going preventative. We don't want to have to fix them. We just want to apply them correctly. So I do cleanse the nail with a bit of alcohol because the gel has a sticky residue to it, and I am going in to file whatever little bit leaked out of that cuticle area. Because listen, I ain't perfect. I'm not going to lie to you. Look, look at that. You see, that is gel that leaked. And if you went on it without your cleansing it with alcohol, that stuff's going to get all stuck in your beautiful bit. And I only have one of these um, crosscut bits. This was a gift from a friend. I'm pretty sure she got this from AliExpress. Now, I am wanting to contour this just a little bit because there's only so much that I can file the nail without it being on my nail. Like now I can see just what's lacking in the shape. So I go under the sides. Well, I go under the nail and I file away any excess gel that's ruining the shape from the sidewalls. I contour because I'm going for an almond, but I want it to be kind of a pointy almond. I don't want a stiletto because I have kids and I don't want to poke one of them in the eye. They complain about everything. And then I have to be like, oh, I'm sorry because I poked you in the eye. They complain about me forgetting their names. They complain about me forgetting their age. They complain about me for forgetting everything else I forget. And then I'm, I'm not just going to poke them in the eye on top of everything else. This is my Glitter Bells metal filing board. And I literally only, I try to only use this on me because I only have a few strips and the Nail Throne, which used to be a store by Sarah's Nail Secrets, like she shut it down and Glitter Bells has a certain amount you gotta order to get free shipping. And anyway, it's all a lot of hoopla. So I don't wanna be using this on clients. I try to use it on myself and get clients their own files and just keep this from a dang self. So we're all filed, we're all dusted, and I'm coming in with this Luminary Commit Primer. Y'all, I have had this primer for years. Don't they expire? Well, too bad, because um, 
I don't think so. I even used it as prep. Like normally I would go in with the Young Nails Protein Bond, but no, I use the Commit Primer to apply um, that builder gel. And the I have these nails on my hand right now. They've been on for about a week and a half and they look pretty darn good. So because I'm going in with a full coat of um, gel polish, like a full color, I'm applying the primer to the surface of my nail because I don't want the gel to be pulling away from the cuticles or the sidewalls. So I just like to do that as an extra precaution. I learned that from Miss Tabitha Scott Nails. Please go and check her out. Go also check out um, Sarah's Nail Secrets and um, Nail Tips by Jen because I'm pretty sure something in this video was gifted to me by her. And also go check out Sweet Tea Nails because those are my besties. And also Raven and Envy Nails and Mama Does Nails. All my people, I'm pretty sure, gifted me something that's being used um, in this video right now. So yes. Um, I like to pretend like I grew all the different color nails from my own body. So today you will see that I've grown white nails from my body <laughs> because I'm trying to get this gel polish all the way up there without getting it on my skin. And when I tell you Madam Glam does a perfect white, they do a perfect white. But I do keep a lot of whites on hand because they do vary, don't they? Anyways, I'm going to cure for a full 60 seconds in between. And this is also another Madame Glam color. This is called Deep Burgundy, gifted to me by Jen. I did mix a little bit of Perfect Red. And as you can see, I'm just taking a little scrub brush and dabbing it into this gel and, you know, kind of chaotically just pressing it onto the nail. I'm it's, it's blood spatter, people. You know, you saw the thumbnail. You know what was going on. This is a very basic, basic, basic Halloween set and I wanted basic. I was going to do over the top dramatic Lisa's return. Boom. In with a bang. But who had time for that? I have four kids. Uh -uh. It wasn't going to fly. And I had to clean the salon because I had not apparently cleaned it since I created it, which was 2021. My husband was very forthcoming with the information saying, girl, you ain't cleaned that since you sorted that out. Who asked him? Anyway, I didn't have time to do something big and bad. So what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of like the most milkiest version of this color around some of the blood spatter. Just, I, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Dimension, maybe? This is me grasping at straws. I want to be cool, but is she cool? Ooh, this is a failed attempt at an eyeball, you guys. I thought I'd include it so you guys can know how whack this channel is. Mm-hmm. But y'all are still here. Couldn't tell you why. At the end, I ended up dipping my finger, which do not do this. Don't touch gel without gloves. Oh, this is so bad. Don't do this. You can end up with contact dermatitis. But listen, it did give me that fingerprint. Now, as everyone is aware, I did commit the crime. Um, I'm not going to say what crime I commit, but that's my fingerprint right there. I'm guilty. Um... But in order to imprison me, you have to catch me. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, I full cured everything for 60 seconds, maybe even 120 seconds, to be honest. Full two minutes. And I'm going in with Madame Glam's um, No Wipe Top Coat for uh, 60 seconds in the lamp. Anyway, here's a video, okay? And picture of the finished look. My nails are, they're cute for now. I hadn't done them since July at this point, so... Anyways, I love you guys for watching. Thank you so much to the new and old subscribers. Um, yeah, I'm back, I guess. Hopefully I stay with, yeah, I love you guys. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.